If you're in a flight sims like DCS and Microsoft Flight Simulator, you're probably well aware of the incredible work that's been done in the community to build lifelike cockpits so people can live out their flight sim fantasies. One such example being the Warthog Project. Now these builds are super impressive, but I don't have nearly enough motivation, patience or space to build something like this myself. But I do want to show you how you can put together one of the most oft-used set of interfaces in a cockpit, the MFDs, or multifunction displays, to update the level of immersion in your simulator with relatively inexpensive parts and a bit of 3D printing. One of the most cost-effective ways to bring these controls into real life is to leverage the Thrustmaster Cougar multifunction displays and a cheap LCD from Aliexpress. So in this video, I want to show you where you can find the files you need to build one of these yourselves and how you can assemble it. It all starts with the 3D print files. These can be found on my Maker World page but a direct link is below in the video description. After you've printed all the necessary parts out, we can begin assembly. This is a pretty simple process which only requires a bit of super glue and some filament to act as dowel pins. Four M3 nuts each need to be fitted to the panel parts to secure the MFDs once the bracketry is fully assembled. Once the nuts are installed, the two panel pieces can then be glued together to form one component. After each of the two brace pieces and two panel pieces are joined, we can then join all of these parts together with some more super glue. With the 3D printed bracketry fully assembled, we can now mount the MFDs. I then applied some sticky back foam to the bracketry to minimize the localized points of pressure if I push on the MFDs. I would also highly recommend fitting the acrylic sheets included with the Thrustmaster MFDs as unfortunately this LCD is a massive fingerprint magnet. You can then implement your chosen level of cable management for the USB cables from the Thrustmaster consoles and we can fit the whole panel to the LCD. The final precursor to getting this LCD display working with DCS is to set up a little config script. There's some great tutorials on the DCS forums, but at a high level, you need to set up the resolution of your display and identify your left and right MFDs on that display. Check out the video description for a link to one such guide. With that done, we now have a fully functional, real life representation of MFDs. This system massively increases the immersion of your flight sim and is so much easier to use. This system, in conjunction with the video I did recently on how you can implement cheap and easy head tracking with OpenTrack, has really taken my flight sim experience to the next level. And now you can take yours to the next level as well.